What's up guys this is Eddie welcome to a new video. It hasn't been that long since we were bestowed with the blessing called Elite Plus. Discussion incoming, let's go. So we have normal regular content, Elite content which is difficult version of the regular content and then we have Elite Plus which is basically a tier you a new one difficulty level and made mostly for those who like to measure their pencils. Now the issue in hand isn't the Elite Plus is too hard to finish. We all know it is supposed to be hard and it is supposed to be maximum difficulty level. It is basically therefore end game pro level players and believe me when I say it's maybe 1% or maximum 2% of the population. So Elite Plus content was launched to make that 2% population happy. Now the question is, should Elite Plus content have feats attached to it? I mean Elite Plus isn't giving us any progression, it is usually launched a month or two after the regular content is launched and by that time everyone has gotten their gear and maxed out their combat rating. So when Elite Plus launches there is no point of running it for progression. So the only reason for running Elite Plus is to challenge yourself and see where you stand as a player and to check your skill level and to see if you can finish it. And if you do finish it, you feel good about yourself and gets the bragging rights. That's about it, am I right? then what's the point of having feats attached to it? First of all, look at the player base. We actually have different, you know, few different types of players in DCO. Let's divide them in few categories. First, we have cosplayers who only play this game. Well, to cosplay. They only run content to get a style they want. So since Elite Plus is not offering them anything special, they're not gonna run it. Then we have casual players. They only run content when they can, won't even log in daily, they don't really care about skill points or loadouts, they just want to be a superhero or a supervillain and follow the storyline of each DLC, kill stuff, run around, talk to people, you know the usual stuff. So Elite Plus is not for them either. Then we have Elite players who run content daily, target is to get maximum combat rating, get maximum skill points possible, max out artifacts, allies, augments and run Elite content, basically trying to finish the game while maxing out their character. But then we have Elite plus Pro players, they want everything same as Elite players but they also have this weird urge to compete and compare against everything and everyone. They know they're the best players in game but they also want a cookie for it and that cookie my friends is elite plus content now i don't mind having elite plus content in the game it's a challenge and i definitely like running it with my league of friends but attaching feats to this content is unfair to the other types of players that is something that they cannot get or don't want to get or will not get because it's out of their reach because of skill level or like i said it's just that they are not interested i mean not everybody has time to spend an hour in elite plus raid and do the daily solo missions and run the events you know some people got jobs, kids, stuff to do. So attaching feeds to the Elite Plus content is just unfair to them in my opinion. And I know some people would say that hey, it's not like there are a lot of feats attached to it. The thing is, every feat matters, every stat point matters towards the completion of the games. And if you combine all the feats in all the Elite Plus content so far, it's not nothing. And if we won't make the developers change the way it works right now, the feeds will keep on getting added for future Elite Plus content and that number will just keep on growing. And after a year or two or three, that number will create a big difference in stats and performance between the Elite Plus players and all the other types of players. So I think it's just unfair. Also, one more thing. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but for the last year or so, DCO has been flooded with speed hackers. So why do you think they exist? Most people start speed hacking or pay a speed hacker to help them out just because that content is you know too difficult and I'm talking about Elite Plus here. So what happens then? That 1% Elite Plus Pro population now has the same feats as the speed hackers and you know casual players. Remember when Obsidian made the video about people who got Elite Plus feats? I think it was for the 6 dimension raid or the source wall Elite Plus. But when he showed all the names who got the Elite Plus feat, all I was thinking was that I am pretty sure some of the names there got the feat without speed hacking. But got included in that list because speed hackers ruined it for everyone. But that list was created because even Obsidian Obsidian knew those feats are not easy to get and some are almost undoable. So that's another point, feats like this, content like Elite Plus creates speed hackers. But above all, 98% population will be missing out on those extra feats and stat points because Elite Plus is made for that 2% only. So totally unfair. 
normal suggestion and also some other people posted this on DCO forums that they should remove the feeds entirely from the Elite Plus content. Treat it as survival mode because it's targeted at you know Elite Plus pro players and its sole purpose is to challenge yourself to see where you stand as a player. You can say it's like a mini survival mode. So then treat it as survival mode. Remove feeds from the Elite Plus content and attach rewards like exclusive style or title or something instead. Like when you finish Elite Plus raid you get a title biggest dickest or something you know. That way the player who finishes it will still get to brag about it and the other players who don't want to on the elite plus content won't feel that much left out everyone is happy and bob's your uncle and i'm like like 90 sure okay make it 80 sure that most of you will agree to this so if you are you know if you're agreeing to this don't be afraid to give your opinion to developers on dc forums there are literally a handful of people on the forum and developers only listen to them because they actually voice their opinion so whatever content or the game we have broken or not it's a big thanks to those few people on forums so join the forums voice your opinion and change the outcome anyways what do you guys think about this what are your opinion about elite plus content and whether there should be feeds attached to it for those one person players or they should remove the feeds and add exclusive rewards or titles for finishing elite plus content comment down below what do you guys think and keep it civilized please and i will see you guys next time